So I've had this Kindle Paperwhite now for several weeks. I made a whole video about it, why I recommend the Oasis over the Paperwhite. But one thing I really definitely realized after I made that video is the Paperwhite is just ever so slightly more sluggish than the Oasis. I didn't talk about this in my original review video, so I wanted to make a quick video right now talking about the speed differences between the Paperwhite and the Oasis. Hi there, Vaigrujika called Savaigrujiki Fate. My name is Manith Singh. On this channel, we talk about tech and getting things done. And this video will be talking about a speed test between the two devices over here. Let's start off with a few basic things. The first thing I wanted to test was the restart speed between both the devices. And this is really the biggest difference we're gonna see throughout the whole video. When you restart both the Kindle Oasis and the Paperwhite at the same time, there's a clear difference in how long it takes for one to turn on. Basically, the Oasis has a dual core processor and the Paperwhite only has a single core. They both have 512 megabytes of RAM, so that's the same. The processor is really the differences and makes a clear difference when booting up both devices over here. Obviously with the Kindle, we don't really restart these devices too often, but in case something does happen, like a bug or something acting funny, you do wanna restart it for those purposes. And I just wanted to test to see if the processor made a big difference, and it really does. The Oasis dual core processor turns on a lot quicker than the Paperwhite does. But let's do some more realistic tests over here. One test I wanted to do was actually opening up a book at the same time, the same book on both devices. How long would that take? And to my surprise, the Paperwhite actually loaded the book just a half second faster than the Oasis did, but not so fast. One thing I did realize after that is when you turn pages on both the Oasis and the Paperwhite by using the touch screen, the Oasis definitely has a cleaner and more fluid experience than the Paperwhite does. They both do work really well, but when you put them side by side, you can clearly see the Oasis is much more fluid and much more smooth when you press the page turn for the next page. Moving on here, just some more tests like opening up the settings on both devices, going to the advanced options, and just poking around the settings as a whole. And again, the Oasis did a better job as an overall experience. It didn't take as long to load pages. The Paperwhite though wasn't too far behind. I wouldn't really call that a deal breaker at all. Another test I did was actually opening up the bookstore on both devices. And the Oasis again, just like before, it opened up a little bit quicker, it's more smooth, nothing too crazy. The Paperwhite did keep up pretty well though, no major lagging or anything like that. So as a conclusion over here, I would say the Paperwhite is a very strong device in terms of processing power. If that's something you're concerned about, I wouldn't worry about it too much, but I will say from personal experience, from using it every so often over the past several weeks, I have had several situations where it would just slow down noticeably compared to my Oasis. So keep that in mind if you're buying the Paperwhite. If you enjoyed this video, check out my comparison from the Paperwhite and the Oasis where I talk about everything else in terms of features and why I prefer the Oasis. Link for that video on the screen right now. Thanks so much for watching. I'll see you next time.